The signing of Rooster Satili Tupanua is more proof Canterbury is no longer the NRL's underdog, but rather a desired location for the game's best talent. And club boss Phil Gould says there's still some money in the bank to chase more big names. Sitting in the eight and with a happy playing group, the dogs are spreading their version of love, even if some teams don't like what they're receiving from Reid Marnie. The hooter went and I just looked back and then them two were into it, so I didn't really... I didn't know what was going on. They were pretty close. Yeah, and I thought they were kissing on the, on the big screen, but... <laughs> Kiss cam. Yeah. Burton's love for the club being shown post-game. I watched you in those videos where you're smashing that poor bin after the game. <laughs> you, seem, you seem to really revel as the leader in that environment. Oh, with the team song, yeah, that's, yeah. I don't know how I got given that role, but that's something that I've been doing. But, yeah, we'll just keep, hopefully keep the wins going. You like it? Yeah, yeah, love it. Coach Cameron Serraldo and general manager Phil Gould have turned the dogs from a dumping ground into a destination club in a hurry. We've been able to handpick the players that we're recruiting. The good thing about any football club is you've got the ability to say no. If it's not good value, if it's not the right price, if it's not the right character, we've now got the ability to say no and we're very particular about the players that we want in our club. It's been a hard road to get to that point. It's always a hard road, you know, doing everything the right way is always the hard way. Their latest recruit, Satili Tupanua, ticks their boxes. Quality player, comes from a quality club, he's been in a great system and he'll bring a lot to us. And there are more to come. More on the shopping list? Uh, it's still got a little bit of money left there, yeah, I'll have to count it up. With a group of utilities and smaller players, the dogs are defending their way up the ladder. They won't give away all their secrets. Our football's a little bit different and... That's why we've probably flown in under the radar a little bit this year. What do you call your football? Is it small ball, gust ball, Cameron ball, what is it? No, no, we're just playing rugby league. Dog's going good? Going OK. Danny Weidler, Nine News. And while the Roosters have lost to Panua, they've gained Wallaby's winger Mark Nwanganitawase. Already signed for next season, he'll now arrive in Bondi after the Paris Olympics, where he'll play in Australia's Rugby Sevens team. Meantime, Chad Townsend could be joining him at the Tricolours in talks for 2025. While there's big news for the Maroons tonight, Caelan Ponga has been named to return for the Knights this weekend, rocketing into origin calculations.